Ready? Let's go. Watching the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of the weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight Double in this shot. key matchup. Well, shades of Cormier against Dan Henderson back in the day just slammed his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him like a baby. If you can pick a guy up off his feet, it's so discouraging for men that are used to being the alphas in all situations. Oh, nice job working hard. Right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so. There. He felt like he had a massive advantage in wrestling, and if he attempted takedown to secure, let's see what he does from this position. Misses with that punch. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Bull. Nice one, two there. Big body kick. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That knee attempt is blocked. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. We're just gonna stonewall him. Oh, I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Takedown defense holds up. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ray Bull. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Bull gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Here he is back in the clinch. And they separate. Back and forth we go here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Liver kick. 90 seconds to go. to go in the opening round. Great punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Left hand punch in the clinch. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. Oh! Be 
So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's start. Yeah. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Bull. Got a single follow tie. Good body shot. Pretty nice knee there, DC. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got offended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Attempts the front kick there. And they separate. Effective punch there by Bull. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, single collar tie here. Try to establish that jab. He lands a switch deep. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. That one's a good. Nice strike. Oh, misses with the jab. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done, we're off in the night. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain positive and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Door gets hit with a kick. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. 78 total strikes have now landed for Ray Bull. And landing with 47% accuracy against Ray Bull. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh! Just out of range with that left hook. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Effective punch there by Bull. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. 
Well, you know, I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pitting that. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Single collar tie now. Throws the right hand there. All right, so there is the end of the round. Some serious liver damage doled out there, and not because of alcohol, just a pinpoint strike that buckled his opponent, nearly got him out of there. He's so accurate, and he's so good at finding that sweet spot, that spot that really does usually end the night of your opponent. He's a fantastic performer, and he's doing a great job tonight. And we are back for our third and final round. Effective punch there by Boyd. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, a single collar tie there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch, man. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful takedown land. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Borg gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh, well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Thunder trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got in on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Oh, he gives up his back here, DC. That's something that you almost never would do. No, you got to try not to give up your back. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. I mean, how many can he take? 
Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna tag armbar here. Can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. The judges for cards for decision. For the winner by split decision, Ray, the Chaz Mexican Devil. So there he is, your